Hello! This is a tutorial for how to get started with MeWe. Uh, the first step would be to go to MeWe.com up in your address bar right here. Then you need to go and put in your name. I'm just going to make a dummy account here. So my first name is going to be MeWe Tutorial and my last name is going to be Ditch Facebook. Then here you can put either your email or your phone number. Then here you pick a password, which I've already filled out. Check this box. Check this box. And hit this Get Started button. So here we are. <clears throat> uh, if you'd like to, you can sync your contacts with uh, an address book. I am not going to do that. I'm just going to go later. And we need to confirm our email. So they just sent an email to that email address that I put in the last screen. So I'm going to go to my email account here. And there is that email. I'm going to click on that and click this confirm email button. and my email is confirmed so here's some things that it's uh, saying that you could do uh, we're gonna go over that just manually right now so I'm just gonna click this X here and here is your new MeWe news feed uh, you can see up here we have uh, this is your news feed up here we have chats uh, like Facebook Messenger uh, this would be groups, pages, events, and this is your own personal event calendar, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's a little bit different than what Facebook has. And then over here you've got your profile pic, which uh, MeWe defaults to uh, either a piece of toast or sometimes a taco or something. This is your default uh, cover photo, and here would be your name. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to customize so that uh, we're no longer a piece of toast here. So we're going to come over and click on ourselves. So you can either just click here or here, doesn't matter. So here is our new profile page. If you go over here and click on this, you can see that edit icon come up. And you can upload a photo from your computer. Or you can use a photo that you've already uploaded, which is this My Cloud option. Since this is a brand new account, you're not going to have any photos there, so you're going to want to say from my computer. Then you just navigate to whatever photo you want to use. Say open. You can adjust the crop here, move it over, make it smaller, bigger whatever you want to do. I'm just going to use this as an example. So I'm going to hit save. And there is my new profile pic. So now I want to change this background photo here from the default. So as soon as I hover over here you see this edit background photo uh, appears. So you want to click on that. Once again you're going to say uh, if you've already got a photo that you want to use you can say from my cloud. If not, you're going to say from your computer. And I'm going to choose this cover right here. And looks good. Save. And there's my new cover photo. You can also go over here and add your city, any of this information. You just click on it, put in whatever you want. Click on the next one. You don't have to hit save or anything. If you want to edit it afterward, you uh, just come over here and this will pop up and you hit edit and you can change it to whatever you want. Now here is your personal link to give to all of your friends and family. So this won't just take them to MeWe, it will take them to create an account and then after they create an account, it will take them to you so that they can find you and become your friend because that's the whole point of social media is to have friends on there so <clears throat> a 
let's search for some for a friend that we know is on here. So I have another uh, dummy account that I made just for this, and this dummy name is Shiva Adams. So let's see, we'll go over here to people and see if we can find her. There it is. So there's my friend. So I'm going to come over here. I want to be friends with her. So I'm going to say add contact. And you can uh, check or uncheck this to see your timeline posts. Uh, I don't know why you wouldn't want them to if they were your friend. But here we go. And then I hit invite. So here we see that contact invitation has been sent. So I'm going to go back up here to my home right there. So let's go over to, uh, to that other account that I just friend requested and see what that looks like now. So here we are in Sheba's. Uh, account here and as you can see there's this notification this red uh, one up here says that there's something going on and that's true of any of these things up here anytime you see this red uh, circle next to one of these things that means that there's been activity in a group that you're in or a page that you're following or uh, someone's chatted with you and same up here, this is some sort of notification, so I'm going to click on there, and it looks like I've got a contacts notification, so I'll click on that. So here we have <clears throat> our contact requests, and I have one request from the uh, account that I just created. So I'm going to go ahead and click accept. So there we go, so now that account and this account are now friends. So now, say I go to Sheba's uh, account and I say, Yay! I'm on MeWe. And I say, Share. Now, if I go back to the account that I just created, I see that Sheba posted Yay, I'm on MeWe. So you can see this is basically a lot like Facebook. It functions just about the same way. You know, the big difference is that this feed here isn't manipulated by MeWe to get you to stay on there or to get you to try and buy stuff. As you can see, there's no advertising anywhere on MeWe. So they're not tracking you. There's no... Uh, you know, they're not tracking because there's no reason to track. They're not trying to sell you anything. The uh, You might say, well, how is MeWe going to make their money? The way that they make their money is they have custom uh, emojis that you can buy. There are also custom themes that you can purchase. And if you go over the free 8 gigabytes of space that they give you, then there is a very small uh, monthly charge for additional space, sort of like cloud storage on Google Drive or Dropbox or, you know, uh, any one of those cloud storage services. So um, that's how they're going to make their money. Uh, as you can see here in this brand new account that I just created, I have activity in my groups. So by default, you are a member of this MeWe News and Updates group, which you can see there are three things in there that it's telling me are new to me. So if I click on that, then here I am at the MeWe News and Update group. If you wanted to, uh, if you wanted to remove yourself from that group, let's try and do that. So, oh, let's create a new group. Sorry. So let's see. Settings. So if we go to settings and then over here to membership, you can leave that group. Yes, I'm absolutely 
absolutely sure I want to leave that group. So, if you don't have any groups yet, then you're going to see this. Because MIUI is not going to give you anything that you haven't decided that you want to see. It's not like Facebook where they're just going to fill in stuff if there's nothing there. So, let's say you want to look for a group that you uh, want to join. Uh, let's do this. We can view all open groups. So here it has all sorts of topics for groups. You can find groups that have something to do with what you're interested in. Uh, let's say music. So let's say I'm going to join this uh, 60s. Let's see. So some of them you have to apply and be uh, approved. Some of them you can just join. So let's say I want to join this finger style guitar music or er, group. I just hit join. If I wanted to apply, I just hit apply. Now, this is an interesting feature here. You can have a different profile picture for a group. So you can become a member of a group and have a different profile picture just in that group than your actual profile picture to all of your friends, which is kind of a cool feature. Um, you can also have an, a different introduction for yourself to the group where you can maybe describe uh, specifically why you're joining the group as opposed to just general information about who you are. Um, then you have some options here. Uh, groups usually come with a group chat. Um, so if you want to be notified when someone posts a message to that group chat, then you would hit here. Uh, if you want to be notified when someone creates a post, you can click this. If not, you would just have to go to the group and look to see what was new. Uh, I'm just going to say done. And now here we are in the group. So now I will get notifications whenever someone posts to this, to this group. Um, I can also come back over here. It has a group chat. I could chat with people in this group. If I come up here now at the top to groups, I'll see that that finger style guitar group is now there. Same for pages. So, pages, there are a bunch to choose from. Uh, say you want to view a page, you just click on view page. You can follow the page right over here with this follow button. So now anytime that there would be a BBC News post, I would get a uh, notification in pages up here. So I'm getting chat notifications. It looks like in that finger style guitar group. Or post notifications. So here I got a no notification that Sheba accepted my request. If you want to mark all of these as red, it's right there. Just like your notifications in Facebook. Here's the MeWe store, which I was talking about, where you can add different uh, functionality, voice and video calling, dark themes, different emojis. And they're always adding new things to the store, too. Let's try. Uh, let's see somebody with an event. So you can create your own events here. Open event, private event, either one. Let's do a private event. My event. Adam Lurgers, my house starts, click on here, choose the date, click on here, choose the time, ending date, ending time, you can set your time zone, 
Add a description. My cool event. This is very cool. You can set reminders. And you can set repetition. You can uh, control whether guests can invite their friends to this event. And you can also choose whether posts in this event page have to be approved by you. I'm going to create that event. Let's go ahead and invite Sheba to that event. Invite her. So if I go back to Sheba now, I've got a notification here. Miwi Tutorial Ditch Facebook invited you to the event, my event. So you can click on the event to see what it is. And right over here you can say you're going or not going. Let's say I am going. I'll edit and say going. So now if I go to events, I have my own calendar and you can see this event that I've said that I'm going to attend on my own calendar, which is one of my favorite things about Mimi. It's really pretty cool. Uh, <clears throat> so I already did a little bit of posting. If you just go to ho, home <laughs> and uh, click right here, tell your contacts what's happening. This is where you would post, write a post. If you want to add a picture, you can attach a file, a video, uh, a GIF, a, a you can do a poll. I believe you can do some sort of voice recording. You know, click on this stuff and see what happens. Here, you can control who sees the post, whether it's your contacts or your, anyone on MeWe. You can see that right there. I just changed it to public, so that means anyone on MeWe could see this post. If I switch it back to my contacts, then only people that I am friends with would see this post. Let's add a photo. We're going to add a photo. Just go to the photo that you want. There it is. Say share. There's my post. Now if I go back to my other account, go back home, I, it looks like I have a something has happened in my news feed, and there it is. There's Sheba's post that she just did, or that I just did. Uh, here's another thing up at the top. You can enable desktop notifications uh, for MeWe if you want to. Um, or you can click this Never Ask Again on this computer. Uh, let's say that uh, somebody shares a link that you want to share. So I'm going to share a link to... A website. What's a cool OSD? So I'm gonna I'm gonna put a link to OBS Studio, which is what I am using to record this tutorial right now. And so I'm just gonna paste that link in there. There it is. If I want to now, I can write text, write text here. Choose whether it's just your contacts or public. I'm going to share that. All right. Now, if I go back to Sheba's account, there's my post that I just did. Now, say... <clears throat> Say I want to react to that. I go right here. So there's more than just like and like. You can just react in all these different ways. I could say yay. Then I can also add another one if I want to. I could say wow. Or even a third one. So you can have multiple reactions, which is also kind of cool. 
Uh, let's see. I'm going to refresh Shiba here. So if you want to repost something that's already been shared, that is going to be right there if it's available to do that. Uh, you can select on your timeline, in a group, in a private message, or in an event, which is all pretty self-explanatory. So let's say I want to share this in a group. So I'm going to share this in the finger style guitar group. I can write any text here. And if I hit share there, it would be shared to the finger style guitar group, which I'm not going to do because I don't think they care, they care about open broadcaster software. But if you wanted to, that's how you would do that. So I hope that gives you a basic understanding of how MeWe works. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments for sure. And I will do my best to answer any. And I will also be working on doing some stuff with the uh, mobile app to show you around that as well. So ditch Facebook, make a MeWe account, share that link to your profile to all your friends and family, and urge them to do the same. And until next time, I'll see you later.